guys, it's Marshall Malik here again. I'm making this video today because just to make to aware to all our road users on the road that my friend bought a Mercedes Benz. Now, as you know from my video, if you see my previous video, that I bought a second hand one. But this time, my friend, he saw that I bought a second hand one and then he went out and bought a brand new one because he thought, you know what, I don't want no headaches with the car. Now, when he bought this car, he bought this from Mercedes Benz of Chelsea. He bought it from somebody called, uh, at the time, a salesman called Dean. And what happened with that salesman was that he bought the car for a deposit down and the following day he called back to say, you know what, I don't want that car in particular because he was pushing him towards a manual car, maybe that's what they had in stock, but he wanted an automatic car. And that's what he wanted and he was told, you cannot have it. So he got the car, as you can see in front of you, and uh, I'm going to bring him into the video as well. Come into the video, please. And uh, here we are, here we are the stairs. Welcome. And this gentleman went out and bought a brand new car. With this brand new car, what happened was that from day one he had problems. You want to tell us about the problems that you had with the car? Yeah, you know, from day one I bought a new brand new car. It must be from one of the Mercedes Chelsea showroom. Yeah. And uh, one of the customer service guys, his name was Dean. They, I paid him deposit, yeah. And uh, I asked him about uh, the uh, car, yeah. But he, he gave us first, uh, he showed us uh, the like voucher about the manual car. But after that, I changed my mind and I told him, please, uh, can you put into the automatic? I don't need a manual, manual one, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he said, no, you can't do it. Your deposit will be gone and your car already ordered it. And we can't do nothing, yeah. So just from that point alone, the car was just sold to you? Yeah. So that's, that's, so that's, that's one point yeah. straight away. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now and the second thing, yeah. when I take out the car from the showroom, yeah, after um, approximately 10 to 15 days, the smell was coming, the damp smell was coming right. from the car okay. and the knocking noise from the front to the side side okay. it was coming for some time, yeah. But I was uh, ignoring, I said maybe it's for the weather or raining, that's why right. the smell was coming. But the smell was continuously coming from the car, day by day it's going worse, yeah. yeah. But I called to the customer service, I told them and they said, that, okay, we're going to call you back. Right. But they did call me back. Two months, yeah. Two but months. I call them back again to remind them my car is smelly, yeah. But they said, no, oh, okay, we're going to make an appointment for you, and you can bring the car in one of the our service centers, Stratford service center in London, yeah. I take the car there. I show them. They said, no, oh, uh, we're gonna fix your car. You can come back in the evening time and get the car from us. I said, okay, that's fine. I went home in afternoon, three, four o'clock. They called me. And they said to me, oh, so, uh, we found a hole in your car body and the water going into the car, that the smell is coming in your car. And uh, it will take three to four days to fix the car. Okay. And after a few four days, you have come back and pick up your car. Okay. I said, I don't have any car. My mother and I had children. So when you bought the car, to that time, how long have the time period? Uh, I think it's uh, one month. Oh, just within a month? Yeah, yeah. within okay. a month. Yeah, I'm calling them and they're ignoring me before. But after that, they find it and they said, oh, we're going to fix it. But the point is, I asked them about the courtesy car. But they refused me to get, refused to give me the courtesy car. They said, oh, you have to book on the car when you make the appointment. I said, you guys tell me, stay away, come to the Stratford and uh, take, uh, give us the car. And we found it and you can come back in the evening and get the car. And now you're calling me, said to me, three, four days, you're going to take a time to fix it. Yeah. That's the first thing, yeah? Second time, again, when I pick up the car after four days, yeah, I keep, I take the car to my home. The smell was coming. I called them again, but they, they said, okay, we, the, our service team will go into my contact. No one can, uh, no one call me, no one contact me, yeah. And after three, four months, I was fed up because I called so many times to the Mercedes Chelsea showroom, to Stratford, to head office, everyone I was contacting, them. no one come to me, yeah. And the second from no no one no one yeah and the second time when my service due yeah first service due yeah. I called them and I make appointment I went to the Stratford one uh, showroom yeah service center <laughs> yeah and they said to me oh you have any problem with the car any issue you have want to raise with us I said I already raised the issue about the smell yeah. the damn smell is coming from my car and you people did not fix it and you said to uh, us you said to me that time you people fix it. But you didn't fix it, the smell was still coming and the knocking noise is coming from my car. And after that time, they said, okay, we're gonna fix it. 
they just do some spray in the car and they said to me oh your car is fixed yeah and you come to pick up the car uh, when i went there to pick up the car there's some spray smell is coming from the car i said this some smell is coming from the car they said oh we just clean your copy and uh, it will be gone in uh, two three hours i said okay but the smell not gone after that some points comes up on the dashboard yeah, yeah. some lights steering wheel heavy i was driving with my wife and my children i can't drive i called to the mercedes service center they sent someone to me and they said to me oh this guy gonna come to you and fix the car the guy came i i don't know the guy name some indian guy some, yeah some yeah the indian the guy mercedes one of the, the mercedes thing it doesn't matter yeah so from, from mercedes that's all yeah yeah and and the guy came and the guy guy came after three four hours and he uh, looked into my car yeah. and he said it's a major problem we have to take your car to the mercedes showroom they will fix it service center they gotta fix it where i can't do it i said okay what's the reason how i can take my family to home and uh, he said uh, i'm going to gonna hire a rent a car for you you take uh, the family uh, the taxi take your family to the home yeah. and you have to stay with the car unless the truck driver will come to take your car i said okay that's fine after four or five hours no one came i called to the head office again and i explained to them uh, no one came who, who will come to pick up my car and they said we don't know as well i said if you people don't know how i know yeah and then they said to me okay uh, you have to wait with the car and the guy after a couple of hours the guy came to pick up my car and take it to the showroom and they gave me and that the same guy who took the car from me he ordered a one of a uh, uh, subcontractor's europe car he ordered one of the car from them as a courtesy car for me because he said we don't know how long gonna take a time your car fix yeah after that time i europe car people called me and they said to me we deliver the car to your home after a couple of hours they called me again they said oh, sorry we don't we are not allowed to come to your home you have to come to our one of the garage center and you can come pick up the car from there yeah <laughs> pick up yeah yeah and the and the point was he froze and it was 3 4 hour drive from my home to there i said before you people said to me come to pick up and now you said to me come to yeah yeah that's the and second thing after two weeks they took the car from me the mercedes uh, stepford one of the guy came from there and he took uh, the europe car from me and uh, he gave he said to me oh come to take the other mercedes car i said okay that's fine when i went to pick up the mercedes car the europe car company they did that 21 some pence from my account and they sent me another invoice 145 pound i said why you people sending me invoice and why you did that money from my account and he said to me oh please contact to the mercedes one when i contact to mercedes yeah. the mercedes said to me contact to the europe car i was can we what they going to why, why are they playing with me yeah and then i co- co- contact to the europe car the mercedes and then europe car and europe car they said oh we gonna sort it out your problem yeah but no one so did they deduct the money from my account the second thing they called me after one month and said to me oh please return the car the road tax is expired which car the month is given to me this one is a road tax car uh, road tax is expired you have bring the car to the showroom and we gonna update you uh, road tax and you can take another car from us i said okay that's fine and all the uh, all the my daily routine works i left it i went to the showroom i pick up another car and i was driving around yeah after four Four weeks, yeah, nearly two months. They call me. They said your car is ready. Come to pick it up. Yeah, and we together we went there and pick it up. And they charging me from the tire. Yeah. They said we the, all the noise and all the thing is sorted from your car. I said okay, that's fine. On my way to go back home, the the lights came up again on the dashboard. I called them on the straight way. They said customer service is very busy. We're gonna call you back. I said okay no one called me. The next day my wife took my grand mom to the hospital uh, to show to the doctor and the lights all the comes up and the steering wheel heavy and she was panicking and she had the video as well. And I had the video 
into this video so yeah. you can see it for yourselves. Yeah, I panic that you can hear in a voice yeah. from that video. And so, it's the 3rd of July today and I'm driving and these messages keep coming up and I'm really scared to drive because I feel like something's gonna go wrong and then sometimes all of it starts flashing. Look, 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 look at this. This is so scary and my steering is getting a bit heavier. Look what's happening. Look, look, look. This, this is crazy. Today, again, all the signal lights is coming. Look at the date and time on my phone. Look at the, all the things. Is coming up on my dashboard. Steering is very heavy. I'm going on somewhere, but I stopped my car. Well, panicking. Had she have the video? Yeah, I'm gonna add that video into this video so yeah. you can see it for yourselves. Yeah, I panic that you can hear in a voice yeah. from that video. And, and now I come back from my home. And I, sh the lights again come up, yeah? I was on day 12, and all the lights come up. I pull over the car onto the road on the side. I can't drive, and I called to Mercedes so many times. I'm fed up with the new car, because my friend, he told me, buy a used car, but I don't trust him. I said, no, I like the new one, because used car, I don't trust it. But now, what's the Mercedes giving me? This is the brand, what is this brand? This brand giving me this, Bullshit, what, what I can do? Okay, so, you know, as, as we're going to go with the points again now, he buys a brand new car from Mercedes, he was missold it from day one because he wanted a car, he was pushed into buying this particular car. When he's conferred with his cousins and his uncles and his friends, and they said, why are you buying a manual car when you're buying something brand new, buy an automatic? He had no issues about paying more money because money is an issue. And he phoned them back and said, right, listen, it's not, it's just when, uh, yesterday when I uh, put a deposit down, I haven't got the car yet. And the thing is, I want an automatic. It wasn't given to him. Then within the month, there's been a hole in the body of this car. And with a hole in the body, what's happened is water's got in there and it's left a damp smell. When I got into it last week, when we actually went to pick up the car, instantly you could smell the dampness. If you don't believe, come and see us, contact me, and we'll let you sit in the car and you smell it for yourself. So then you've got that issue there. On top of that issue there, this knocking noise. Now, I remember last week when we went to pick up the car together, he asked the serviceman there that, have you checked the car, that if you change the tire, here you are, here's the money again. So taking money, Mercedes, no problem. But to give the service in return to make sure that that car is working to its highest quality of what a Mercedes Benz should be about, is it there? Of course not. Because the salesperson said, we've thoroughly checked the car, your car is fine to take away. And then as we drive out of the, the show, the, the service center and we go our own ways the lights come back on again we've had the car for two months this is a, a 67 plate yeah. so it's not a brand it, new car the warranty as well yes well the warranty yeah it's still, in the warranty know. as well now just imagine that you've got a car that you can't drive your own car for two months you have a family that you've got to take care of so you have a wife you have young a couple of children and you have also elderly that you're taking care of so you've got to run around do errands as well but you can't do that because first of all they keep messing you about come and pick it up come and drop it off and then they give a car that he has to pay for himself where he was mercedes problem and they put it onto him so that point adding on the knocking is still there the cluster of problems on the dashboard are still there and this car from day one has been nothing but a headache and you've given him a dud car yeah. so mercedes take this car back and have it stripped down and check where you went wrong. I'm sure you don't spend millions on just, you know, a car when you design a car with these much problems. So I would advise you to sort this gentleman out because if you don't, he will go to the best litigation lawyer, okay, and sue you. He will go to watchdog, he will go to the tabloids, and he will make sure that the headache and hassle, that nothing but else, this is the after sale service where you expect more from Mercedes Benz. There should be a standard where you get that. But we didn't get that. This gentleman did not get that. And that's what he wants. And that's all he's asking for there. We will add some more to it and there. And if you do, please share this video, make it viral, and help this man get a car. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.